And we're back. We have another another scrawler box, which is what month are we in? April? Yes, so let's open it. So these are the supplies, just gonna put them off to the side. We have the zine, which kind of looks like a tiger. <laughs> oh, speaking of, here it is. The print of the artist, which is by Cecilia, I think that's how you pronounce it. We have some A5 toned drawing paper. Ooh, this looks cool. I've drawn on toned paper before, but not this colour, so that's good. I'll just move these to the side and we will look at the supplies. Oh, look at that, it's hefty. Chunky eraser. Right, let's open it. Zoom in a little bit. So we have the sticker, which I really like. The supply list. We have an eraser. Is my camera being alright today? <laughs> a toffee, which I won't be having. Ooh, look at this, a Unipin fine liner. Now I didn't do I didn't know these did fine liners, but look at that. It's really thin. And then we have some Derwent Fine Art pencils. Interesting. I'll just open these up so we can see what see them. Are these pastels or just pencils? Like just pencils to me. This is going to be a really interesting box. So next up we have the zine. So it says, it gives you a list of the supplies. I sit down with the artist. Oh wow, look at her animals. They look amazing. Then we have some scrawler tips on how to use these. And then we have the scrawler gallery, which I am featured in, which is amazing. It's one of my goals that I wanted to tick off my list, and there I am. Let's see if we can see anybody else in here who I might know. Oh, Prim Draws. I know of Prim. Lovely stuff. Right. And then we have something about Earth Day and colour theory. And yeah, that's it for the zine. So I'm not sure for that. I'll be keeping this one. Right, I think I'll go through and actually just swatch them first on the page. See what I like. It's, they're definitely pencils, they're not pastels, but for some reason on here they look like they could be pastels, but I think it's just they've been blended really well. And I presume they blend it using a white pencil, but we will test that in a minute. In fact, we'll test it from this green. To the dark green. And see how they blend. I have to go over it a couple times. Yeah, they're all right. Not really much I can say about that. But let's make something. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have a scrawler box unboxing for you and this month it's the April box. So basically I'm just going to read through the supplies, let you know how much they cost to see if we're getting our money's worth and yeah, so let's get into it. Let's take a wander into the wildness, <laughs> wildness? the wilderness, taking inspiration from this month's featured artist. We're encouraging you to 
delve deep into the jungle kingdom of your imagination, get creative with textures, colour depths, mark making and building up your line work to explore the wild side of your artwork. And the scroller challenge was walk on the wild side. So the first thing that was included in this box was the Derwent Chromaflow pencils. We got six of these. So these Derwent Chromafoam pencils guarantee bold, vibrant and saturated colour for any project. These pencils are wax based, offering a rich and creamy lay down, specifically designed to layer and blend in smooth and velvety finish. They are formulated with rich pigments that show up not only on white papers but toned papers as well. And it says in brackets, even on black paper. And the 3.5mm premium strength core ensures its durability during sharpening and during extensive use. During the manufacturing process, glue is applied to the entire length of the pencil slat to make sure the core stays in place and to minimise any breakage that may interrupt your creative flow. These pencils are sure to provide an expressive colour range for all your artistic endeavours and they retail for £1.80 each, so we've got six of those. Next up we have the A5 Tone Drawing Paper Pad, 115 GSM 10 sheets. This toned and textured paper is a great all round surface that is suited for a um, myriad of me mediums including charcoal, coloured pencils, pastels, chalks and more. These natural brown toned sheets will give your artwork an organic and rustic am ambience perfect for any elemental or earthly creations and that retails for £2.49. Next up we have the Unipin Extra Brush Pen which I had not heard of before, I did not know that Unipin did brush like this fine. So it says this fade proof and water resistant pigment ink fine liner pen is often a first choice amongst artists and designers. The brush tip is firm but flexible so it will adapt seem seamlessly <laughs> to any pressure, angle or speed that you will use it at. This pen is a two-in-one that will provide you with excellent control for delicate line work as well as expressive brush pen painting techniques for any creative project and that retails for £7.99. Now I only actually used this once, which was on the eyeball to make it um, stand out a bit more. Next up we have the Staedtler Metal Double Sharpener, which I think looks pretty cool. The Staedtler Durable Metal Sharpener is an ideal partner to your chromophone pencils, keeping them sharp and ready for your creativity. It features two holes that will cover a wide range of pencil sizes up to 10.2mm diameter and it is also an extra long guiding slot to prevent wedging or breaking, prolonging your pencil's lives for as long as possible. And that retails for £2.20. And last but not least we have the Fati Factis Eraser, say that really carefully. <laughs> This soft and flexible eraser is fantastic for gentle lifting pigment and graphite from paper without damaging the paper surface and is designed to work on a wide range of delicate surfaces including tracing papers and films. This eraser will not leave any unwanted residue on your artwork and is perfect, isn't it? Is a perfect companion to any pencil themed project and that retails for 85 pence. Now, I absolutely loved the eraser, it brought it up extremely nicely, um, but it did leave like a little bit of like erasing bits, which I'm not a fan of, <laughs> which is why I usually use a needed eraser. <laughs> yeah, so that's the supplies, now I'm going to talk a little bit about my artwork. So I was thinking, what kind of animal could I do? I couldn't do a tiger because... I don't know, I just couldn't really... I was looking at the colours and they were all like green and like a reddish brown gold colour so I thought, hmm, I've been on a few walks recently and I've seen a few mallard ducks and I thought that's the perfect thing to draw because the colours complement the animal pretty well so yeah I just did it. 
and I kind of just layered and layered and layered and eventually yeah turned out to be a mallard duck let me know in the comments below if you have this box what you think of this box do you like it do you not like it do you wish you would have got something different let me know in the comments below and yeah if you did enjoy this video please leave a like comment below what you think share with your friends subscribe for more and i will see you next time with another video okay bye